All right, so now we're on wrist defense number three. And so this is gonna be in an inverted lock. And what's gonna happen is, usually we're going for a throwaway technique, which is uh, trying to get somebody down to the ground with a shoulder roll motion, and they're not allowing us to. So what happens is, from this position right here, we're dropping level again, we're using this center line, we're going to step through and bring our hand all the way through and underneath. As we do this, we're gonna bring it back to our chest with our thumb up and our fingers on the bottom, so you can see this position. As I get that grip, it's gonna be quick and fast. You wanna make sure that you have a nice, good C grip on this position. The other hand is gonna start here in the elbow, slide down and get a good grip. My thumbs are interlocked and laced, and so are my fingers. I'm stepping underneath and through, and as I do this, you wanna make sure that you give a little bit on the sliding of the hand. If not, what happens is there's a lot of pressure. So from here, I'm letting my hand slide just a, down just a little bit on this hand. Let me show you one more time on that. So what happens is once we're here, it's very tight, so I'm gonna allow it to slide just a little bit. So I'm going to try to throw him, and what happens is he pulls back, and when he pulls back, I turn it back towards him. Now what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you place your feet in the right position, and I want to take his pinky and roll it back towards his face, and I'm going to take his thumb and roll it up into his face this way, and I'm going to take a step back and bow, as I do this, you keep good pressure. See, I'm at this position right here, and a little roll, all right? Now on the other side, same thing. We're gonna make sure that we lower our body. One, we step through, come back. You can see this interlock and lace with the fingers. The thumbs are on top on the pinky side. The fingers are on the thumb side here, and I'm making sure I'm putting pressure as I step underneath. You see I'm stepping in tight. Try not to make a loose step. You're gonna make sure you step tight. Two, three, come forward, then back. Now from here, it's nice and slow. You see where my knee is coming in? I'm making sure that I am perpendicular to his body, and then I'm going to roll his hand or his palm towards his face. And that is the finishing of number three. So at speed, it looks just like this. And that is wrist number three. Thank you.